Hi, this is Brian from Enlightened Speed here, and today we are doing our third bite sized tutorial for the Agnostic Player device. And this will be the first of two videos on the chord presets. Uh, this video is specifically covering the recording for chord presets. And this is the first to kind of really expand on the vision of the agnostic universe uh, by starting to show the parts of agnostic which weren't present already in Chord Bank. So let's get started. First we'll go into the browser and we will load up the utility patch. Uh, all intervals 1-5 C major. And then we set the recording mode to preset and we hit record. Now immediately we'll see the four hidden controls that have appeared on the top of the panel. The bank control determines which of the banks we're actually on. It defaults to number 16 which is C sharp 1. This is the same as using these uh, left right up down arrow buttons which we've got here. But it is also possible to change the bank from the MIDI keyboard. And then the root note determines the first note of the chord. We change it, you can see it moving down here. Yeah, it starts off as 48. Uh, the type changes the kind of preset and there are three preset types available at the moment. Uh, there are interval, there is piano and general and there is guitar shapes. Now we'll talk much more about those in more detail in our next video. For now we're just covering the recording. And lastly we have the preset number itself. So the first thing to do here is to go into the options at the top of the reason menu and switch on the remote override edit mode. And then go ahead and set up each of these controls on your MIDI controller if you have one. Um, and if you don't just use your mouse on the panel. But really from this point on, the workflow is simplicity itself. You select the bank you want to change. We'll st stick with C sharp one for now. Play a couple of times while you're setting the root knot. Then you select the preset type, which can be different for each chord if you wish. I'm just gonna leave it on interval for now. And once you find a chord that you like, you then just move on to the next one and start auditioning through those. Now, of course, you don't need to use this specific recording method. You can, of course, set it up on the interface with the mouse if you wish. And then you simply scroll through the presets and listen to the outputs. Uh, this is just simply a, a workflow enhancement and a very nice one. Um, I'll show you a winning technique in a different video a little later uh, once we've covered all the basic features. Uh, but that's us for now. The next video will simply talk about the types of presets that are available. Uh, but in the meantime, thanks for tuning in and we'll see you again soon. Take care. Bye bye.